Let's start the advanced lesson. We conclude all the complex cases in the following example. In earlier lessons, we discussed structure is the key to responsive web code. The reason for the complex case is the wrong or defects in the design file, which is hard to structure in PX code. We will learn how to correct the defects from the imported design to structure the content efficiently. Let's see an example. These three items look simple and should be combined in a row by smart group. But with multiple selections of these three items, you will notice it is shown in red. After looking closely, you find out the items overlapped with each other. It is because of the wrong bounding box from the design file. PX code keeps the bounding box when the design is imported. How to solve the problem? It's simple. Just correct the bounding box. Click the More option, and you can execute the Resize and Move option to enter the editing mode. Then you can edit the size of the bounding box. Let's keep editing the second item. And edit the third item to ensure items don't overlap with each other. And now, you can easily multi-select those three items and execute Smart Group. OK, let's see the next item and you will find many small items rather than a single item. In practice, designers will convert all the vector items as an image or SVG object and handoff to engineers. Designers can set the item group to exportable as SVG and image, which will be a single item rather than many tiny vector items in PX code. In this case, the designer forget to set exportable, so we have to convert it into an image ourselves in PX code. You can multiple select the items and choose convert to PNG or JPG. You need to choose PNG if the items have transparent pixels or choose JPG otherwise. OK, we can resolve these two complex cases. And you can smart group these two items. Let's see the following example. These items look straightforward, too. You can smart group these two items because one covers another. Smart group these two. And the same for the left ones. Try to smart group for these four items. And these items are shown in red. After looking closely, we find these items overlap just few pixels. In this case, we can insist on executing smart group even the warning pop-up. Because we believe these items should not overlap. Smart Group will ensure to arrange the items in rows and columns by moving them automatically. Let's see the example. Smart Group the text items in columns. Try to Smart Group with the left photo in rows. And you will notice these two items overlap with each other. The reason is simple. The bounding box of the image is wrong. So it's intuitive to use resize and move to correct the size. But you will find the image size will also change with the size change. We want to keep the visual the same. You can use crop image to change the bounding box without visual change. After the cropped, you can resolve the case by smart group in rows. Let's see the following case. Smart group these three items in columns and smart group with the left image in rows. After smart group, you notice a weird gray item showing up. Let's undo it and see what happens. Sometimes there are many hidden items because other items cover them. It's hard to discover, but we must resolve them for structure correctness. Let's try to range select by mouse, and you will notice two selected items in the navigator at the left. In this case, the only way to find the root cause is to examine the tree structure at the navigator panel. You can hover the selected item's left part, and it will only show the hover item. And let's hover another item. Then we find a gray item with the same size under the image. We don't need the gray item, so we delete it by pressing the delete key.